Well, all right, you guys, it is time for what I know is gonna be a very entertaining, somewhat educational, and somewhat spooky episode of Trail Camera Pickup. Today is Saturday, January the 1st, New Year's Day, 2022. This is the same spot that I started my last video, and I was in here two weeks ago to pick that camera up. This was ankle deep water in here, but now as you can see, it's all completely dried up. I'm calling this a very entertaining episode because I've come in and checked this camera two or three or nine times, and I know we've got a ton of animals on here. I'm gonna call it somewhat educational because I did a little experiment after Halloween, I saw a lot of postings on Facebook and on the internet of what to do with your jack-o'-lanterns and people say, don't throw them away, go and put them in some field somewhere where there's some livestock or maybe some deer and things and see if they'll eat them. I'm trying to do a video here, your red shoulder hawk. And I'm calling this a spooky episode because I did put a jack-o'-lantern here one week after I set the camera out. I was curious to see if the hogs or the deer or what would come in here and eat it, but we'll, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. We'll have to see what happens. And I'm a little hesitant to get to this camera because two weeks ago when I checked it last, I did get a group of the invasive plant sprayers in here and they definitely saw the camera. They were standing in front of it talking. And I did check the camera after that, so I know they didn't take it then, but I'm always afraid that they're gonna go and tell their boss that they found some trail cameras in here and hopefully they didn't come in here and remove it. All right, we got 0.22 miles. Get to this camera right up here on the right. So we'll go up there, hopefully it's still there. We'll see what we get. You can just see in this soft mud on the road here, it's nothing but animal tracks. Definitely a lot of hog tracks. I see some raccoon tracks, a lot of deer tracks here as well. So I would love to set a camera overlooking this road here because I know it's just a critter highway, but there's too many humans in here. I don't trust them. All right, we got 191 feet right over this way. We're gonna have to leave our road here. You can see this area here was all burned. There was a prescribed burn about two weeks after I set out the camera. Didn't seem to affect the animals any, but the camera should be about 190 feet right through here. I'm gonna try to keep this intro pretty short because I know we got a ton of animal clips in here. I don't want the videos to be too long, but you can just see there's a good trail right here coming off of that road so i was just walking around and following the animal trails in here so hopefully this camera is still here please uh, and it is Whew. all right camera's still there awesome oh, here's my little experiment so you'll see where that stuff came from. Looks like we got a little pumpkin patch growing. <laughs> oh yeah. And here's the camera right here. Everything looks good. So I've never had a problem with the plant sprayers in here. They've seen my cameras three or four or five times. So I don't mind them in here doing what they're doing. Keeping the invasive plants at bay. Let's hopefully this thing's still working. Oh yeah, it's sweet. All right. Let's go, 87 videos. That's from two weeks, that was the last time I checked it. I still got 64% remaining battery life. So that's pretty good. All right, well, I'll go ahead and we will take this SD card home, put them on the computer and see what we get. Oh, there's my little pumpkin patch right there, oh yeah. All right, today is Sunday, October 31st, Halloween. It's like a pretty good spot. There's a big swampy area over there. There's a big upland piney area over there with trails coming in and out. So I will be back and pick you up in a couple months. Get something spooky. Good luck. Crap. 
got halfway to my car, realized I didn't have my sunglasses. Thought they'd be back here, but they're not. Crap. Oh. Good luck. They were in my backpack the whole time. Good luck. All right, you guys, it's been one week since Halloween. Seeing all the jack-o'-lanterns on people's porch gave me an idea. So I went to Walmart, got me a pumpkin for a dollar, made me a jack-o'-lantern, and I'm gonna set it here in front of the camera to see what eats it. I put some apple pieces in there and some pineapple as well. So I'm thinking that the hogs are probably gonna destroy it, but maybe it'll be pretty cool if the deer start chewing on it. So I'll be back and check on it in a couple weeks. <laughs>
Nobody ate my pumpkin. What's up with that? It's all gross and moldy. <laughs> well, I don't know. That didn't seem to work very well. I thought for sure those hogs would eat that up, but I guess they don't like pumpkins. Those turkeys were pretty neat, and a couple deer, and a three-legged raccoon, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here and come back and check it in a couple weeks. Good luck.
purple. It looks like something is growing in my pumpkin patch. Looks like we got pumpkins growing. Sweet. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Did anything eat the pumpkins? It looks like we got pumpkins growing. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, that was pretty interesting. It looked like the more it rotted, the more things were interested in it. Probably could smell it. But it looks like we got a little pumpkin patch growing right here. So that's pretty good. I'll be back and pick you up in a couple weeks. Good luck.
Now. Tell to what it is now. Up till it comes to the floor. Catch with loose, it does the kitchen. Come on, sir. This is pumpkin cam. Look at pumpkins growing right there. Oh, yeah. Here's my little experiment, so you'll see where that stuff came from. Looks like we got a little pumpkin patch growing. Oh, and here's the camera right here. Well, that spot was super awesome. There's just a good variety of critters in here. All those deer, turkeys, hogs, coyotes, bobcats, raccoons, armadillos, possums, and rabbits. This spot was super awesome. I didn't think too much of it at first. It's just a little opening here with some trails coming in from different angles. I've never had animals congregate in one spot like that before. Those turkeys laying down over there was pretty interesting. I never had that happen before either. But this spot was super cool. I'm not sure what to think of our little jack-o'-lantern experiment. Maybe I made that jack-o'-lantern too scary and the animals were afraid of it. But after it kind of rotted and my little pumpkin plant came up here, they seemed to pay more attention to it. So that was pretty interesting. I think the turkeys are in these areas where it's more oak trees. My last camera was only about not even a half a mile that way and all those pine needles on the ground and I didn't get one turkey on that video, but I'm wondering if the turkeys are eating all the bugs and things that are underneath all these oak trees. So that was pretty interesting. But I am just going to move this camera. I'm always going to want to keep a camera up here in this area because that's where I get all my big bucks and deer and coyotes and hogs. And being that those plant people were in here just two weeks ago, I know they treat different areas up here like sections at a time. So being that they were just in here two weeks ago, maybe they won't be back in here for a while. So I'll feel confident putting a camera somewhere in here. There's a nice swampy area over here that's kind of drying up. So I'm going to go see if I can 
find a spot on the edge of that swamp, maybe get a little more variety of critters. But thanks for watching, you guys. There's a nice animal trail right here. Oh, yeah.